Another commonly used drug for analgesia and antipyresis is acetaminophen. Now, how does acetaminophen work? Well, it reversibly inhibits COX in the CNS, and not peripherally where it's made inactive. Therefore, since it can't get to the sites of inflammation directly to block the enzyme, it has no anti-inflammatory effects and is not technically an NSAID. However, children with fevers do benefit from this drug to reduce the fever and avoid the risk of Reye's syndrome. Acetaminophen notably is metabolized in the liver. Now what is this metabolism dependent on? Glutathione, which normally neutralizes the toxic metabolites of acetaminophen. If too much is ingested, glutathione stores are depleted and toxic hepatic necrosis can result, which can be life-threatening. Now what can you do for patients who took too much acetaminophen? Well, you can give them the antidote, which is N-acetylcysteine, which is responsible for restoring normal levels of glutathione. Now, do you recall for respiratory another use of N-acetylcysteine? Good. It's also used for patients with cystic fibrosis as a mucolytic therapy. Now, what actually is the toxic acetaminophen metabolite? If you said NAPQI, you're correct.